Hello everybody and welcome to this video with myself and Mike Innes. Hi Sam. Hello. We are here to look at mm. the Getson Custom 3508. Yep. In the R version, so we should just explain that. Mm -hmm. It's the rose brass bell. There is a Y version which, guess what, has a yellow brass bell. And we might go into the slight differences in that later if you like. Yeah, yeah. But should we cover off the main specs first, Mike? Yeah, let's, on this? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, seven and three quarter inch bell, which is very nice actually, because some people find the eight inch bell, which is standard across a load of models and makes, slightly, slightly large. But you notice the slight uh, decrease in size when you hold the thing up. You think that's just right. So that's a great point about it. Um, normal weight, although as we said, it's it's the rose version, which is nice and warm, you know, sort of sound that you should make from this. Um, it's a lightweight nickel outer slide, uh, very light and smooth. The bore is dual bore, so it's 500 on the top leg and 508 on the lower leg, which is a nice feel to it. So in terms of where that might sit with other brands, because there isn't really yeah. a direct King equivalent, because it's bigger no, there than a 2B Jewel. Yeah. But maybe in terms of the Barks or... Well, if you have to mention other makes, of course, which is the only way to make a comparison, I would say similar in feel and bore size to the Wrath R1 or the Bark 16, not the 16M. Yeah, the 16. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of playability, maybe let's have a little few notes and then we can just get your feedback yeah. on that yeah. from a response point of view. <laughs> From a playing point of view, how do you feel it actually responds? And... It's nice and smooth and easy to play. It's got a, a silky, open feel to it. Yeah. You're not struggling from the very first note, even though it may sound like it. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a lovely instrument. It's got a, a silky feel to it, yeah. And yeah. I think with that sort of spec and bore size combination, uh, although it's billed very much as a jazz trombone, and that's kind of how they talk about it, it's, it's more versatile yeah. than that, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, um, it's still jazzy. Mm -hmm. It's at, at the jazzy end of the market, that's for sure. But it's, um, it doesn't sound like a small, edgy sort of pea shooter trombone at all. No. So you could use this in well, mainly jazz, like I keep you know, saying, really, but uh, great in a small band, uh, yeah, jazz or pop scene. Um, you know, salsa. Yeah, great, because it's got some nice edge to it when you put some air through it. Uh, first trombone, second trombone, or even third in the, in the big band. You'd be okay on first trombone in some brass bands, and if you've always played a smaller instrument, it'll sound, it'll, it'll sound fine. It's not going to stand out like a sore thumb. But it's mainly a jazzy instrument, yeah. And perhaps with the yellow brass version, would you say that might be a little more direct, a little brighter, perhaps? I know it's quite a difficult thing to explain yeah, and everyone's different, is. but... Yeah, I would, yeah, the, the idea of this is that it's got a warmer, sort of, yeah, fuzzier sound, and the yellow brass may, may be more predictable from a, a player's point of view. It may just be slightly edgier. Yeah. But again, it depends on the mouthpiece and you can, it does. it's about the harmony of those things yeah. together, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Small shank, of course. And um, it comes with three lead pipes. That's right. Um, the one I've got here, I think, is the smallest, most focused one. And then there is a, a medium and a more open, larger, yeah, fuzzier, for want of a better word, one, you know? Yeah. So usually we would just encourage people, if they're coming in to try this, go through the lead pipes, see how they feel. Again, it might depend on the type of mouthpiece you use. Exactly. And that yeah. combination, yeah. isn't it, really? Yeah, but it's a great option. It, well, well, you know, it's a, a balance all the way through from here through to there, isn't it? So the lead pipe is going to make a difference. You will find one that you really like, and the others you may not like as much. Yeah, great. Well, do you want to give us a little bit more yeah. playing, Mike, yeah. just to see us out? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, ah, ah.